Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. In this session we will discuss about the right join concept in SQL. See in the right join all the rows of the right side table are displayed and all the matching value rows that means whenever if there is a common column if there is a matching value in both the columns and condition is satisfied then matching value rows from the left side table are displayed and in the place of non-matching rows in the right side rows null values are placed now let's see with this an help of an example uh, now we'll see our tables that are used to select star from emp and select dept star from dept so we have 14 rows and department number is the column that we are used for joining so we have 10 to 20 and 30 departments all the 14 employees 14 rows are distributed into 10 20 and 30 and in the dept table we have d name and location and d name and location and this columns are supposed to add to the emp table rows and the common column is dept number with 10 20 and 30 departments the 40 department number is not found in emp table hence it is an unmatched row now see now for example i want to display select e name job sal comma location d name from which table emp table we are using right join dept now specify the condition whenever there is a match that is dept dot department number is equals to emp dot department number that is whenever there is a common department name then only append the record now i want to display department number as well as department number is present in both the columns and with same name should must specify which column you are which department number column whether it is EMP table department number or DEPT table department that must be specified otherwise you will get an error now if you compile this see what happens is that we have matches for all the 14 employees in EMP table hence all the 10th department are joined with New York and accounting all, all the 30 departments are joined with sales and Chicago all the 20 department employees are joined with Dallas and research that means 20th department is having location Dallas and research in DEPT table which was appended to the EMP tables of department number 20 okay up to this you have understood but in the department number 40 this has been taken from which table right table that is right table is DEPT and in this right table for the department number 40 there is no associated um, there is no matched employee that means there is no employee associated with department number 40 in EMP table that's why what happens is that whatever the available columns in the right table are displayed that means we have a department name location and department number but we don't have salary job and e name for department number 40 in EMP numbers that means no associated 40 department employees present that's why in that place null values are appended that's it if you see and if I use like this something like this and department number equal to 20 DEPT dot you must specify which table department number it is DEPT dot department number see we have matches for all the employees of the 20th department of the EMP table but what about 10th 30th and 40th department employees of the EMP table that means in the previous example 10th department and 30th department would have matches now as we have specified a condition only 20 departments 10th department and 30th departments remain unmatched with DPT number of DPT table that is the right table hence in that place 10th and 30th department place e name all the columns of the employee the left, left side table values will be null that's why 10th 30 40 which are not present in EMP table because we have specified this condition even though that will be displayed but with null values in left side table columns that's it if you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you don't forget to like the video also do share your questions with us in the comment section let's solve them together and help other geeks as well thanks for watching